given where we are and where you might wish that you were, what is your sort of long-term view on the potential for Miami? Will we ever get beyond being a spoke? Um, actually, I, uh, I, I think, you know, this is the, the time to shine. Uh, and I think, uh, I think Miami is doing all the right things. Uh, and someone gave me a, you know, an analysis between two cities. This was not Miami, but I was related. So you get it, Charlotte and not Nashville. They said Charlotte was ahead of them, okay? And Nashville came and took the spotlight. And now Charlotte is rebuilding. Right? Miami was always, uh, you know, a city that sort of focused on uh, Latin America. Uh, you know, a lot of the corporate headquarters of Latin America were there. Uh, and there was no, there was no, there was no focus to attract talent, um, you know, to serve, you know, the, the, the United USA, the North, North America, okay? There was this whole thesis of it being a place where the quality of life was better, okay? And it was easier to get talent to go there if they were looking after Latin America. So it was a Latin America focused, you know, uh, uh, business. And I think over the last, the pandemic, has effectively said, it doesn't have to be Latin America focused, right? It can be focused on, 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 on Northern America. And that's a big shift in mindset. Uh, and, and effectively, the second point was, there was always this thesis that you could never find talent in Miami, right? Even though, you know, I, I, you know, I, I remember, you know, looking at going to FIU, the, you know, looking at US in Miami, looking at the number of people being produced, um, you know, in, in Florida who would actually like to stay in Florida. Okay, but don't because there isn't enough talent. Um, and so that, that, the only way to sort of get out of that funk is effectively to get some of the larger names to come and establish a toehold. And from what you read in the newspapers, which is, you know, the Blackstones and the Citadels looking to come, Microsoft's I think was in the newspaper, looking to come into, 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 uh, into Miami, you know, that sort of mentality drives uh, talent uh, into the neighborhood. So I, I actually think this time uh, it's, it's here to stay uh, because all the advantages uh, of Miami have been you know, highlighted, uh, whether it's weather, whether it be the tax base, whether it be now talent coming in there um, in, 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 in quality of life uh, during a pandemic. You know, the quality of life in Miami has been much better than the quality of life in other major cities uh, during the pandemic. How the pandemic was handled, by the way, is another in the aspect. So I would say, and this time around, it's it, it's going to stick. 